Teacher, Teacher Jason is back here again, and today we're going to learn about session four, which is all about personality. Now, please turn your books to page 13. All right? So, first off, we're going to talk about the pronunciation part. Here we have three sets. We have the first set, the words and the book words. So let me read the first set of words. Peel, pile, pin. There you go. So that was the words. Now we're going to move on to the book words. Bill, bio, bin. Now we're going to read this first set of words. So listen. Peel, bill, pile, bile, pin, bin. You might have noticed that the P P words usually have uh, an H sound. So this will, this words will sound like this. Peel, pile, pin. I like this words. We have bill, bile, and bin. Okay? Now we're going to move on to the second set of words. We have the p words and the m words. So let's listen to the p words right here. We have pan, pile, pie. So there you go. Powers. Now we're going to move on to the mm words. We have mm, van, mm, vile, mm, vi. Now I'm going to read this set of words for a comparison. Listen. P pan, mm, van, p pile, mm, vile, p pie. Mm, vi. There you go. Third set of words. Again, the p word versus the f word. Okay, I'm going to read the p words first. Pat, pit, pine. Now I'm going to read the f words. Fat, fit, and fine. Now I'm going to read this set of words for comparison. Pat, fat, pit, fit, pine, fine. There you go. So we're done with the pronunciation part. Now we're going to move on to the vocabulary part. Now here are words that we we, we call adjectives. First word, sociable. Sociable. It means a person who likes dealing with other people. Very friendly. All right. Next, lazy. This is a person who does not like to work or do anything. Lazy. Not good. Next word, optimistic. Optimistic is a person who always thinks about the positive sides of things. Always positive. Pessimistic is the exact opposite of optimistic. A pessimist is a person who always thinks about the negative side of things. Alright, so we're done with the vocabulary part. Now we're going to move on to the discussion points. Number one, when do you usually lose your cool? Lose your cool is an English expression. It means lose your temper, lose your self-control. Okay? Next, what do you do when you get scared? Okay, what do you do when you get scared? Next, what was the bravest thing you've ever done? Okay, you can choose 
anyone you like, but I would choose what you do when you get scared. I usually try to think of other things that would make me feel happy. So I will not feel scared. What about you? Choose your answer and send your recording to this email address. We're waiting for you. Feature Jason here saying goodbye for now.